Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Mr. Coffee 10 cup thermal coffee maker. The purpose of the thermal carafe is to keep coffee hot for hours without the plate warming the pot. When a glass decanter sits on the warming plate for hours, the flavor of the coffee can be affected. The thermal carafe helps save some energy because there's no electricity used to keep the plate warm. This unit measures 14 and a quarter inches tall, 9 inches wide, and 11 inches deep. It is a tall machine. It weighs 10 and a half pounds. The design is beautiful. It has a clean, sleek, modern look with the black and stainless steel. The unit comes with a removable water reservoir that holds 10 cups. Each cup is measured at five ounces. There are markings on the reservoir. The minimum you can brew is two cups. There's a minimum line right here and there's a maximum line for 10 cups. When you put the reservoir back, make sure that it is seated properly and cover with the lid. The filter basket is removable and you can use paper filters, the 10 to 12 cup size, or a permanent filter. You can buy a permanent filter separately. There is a water filtration disc included in the unit and that goes in the top part right here. Align the red indicator with the month you're using the disc for the first time so you know when to change the disc. It's recommended to use this disc with a permanent filter and to change the disc every 30 brewing cycles or about a month. I use filtered water so I won't be using the included filter. The basket slides right back in. The double wall stainless steel insulated thermal carafe holds 10 cups. Press this button to pour out coffee. When you want to remove the lid for cleaning, just turn it to the right. And to the left to close. A user manual is also included with the unit. The buttons are simple and easy to use. You can set the clock by pressing the hour and minute buttons. The dim mode button reduces the brightness of the display. The delay brew button allows you to set a time when you want coffee to brew. This is the brew and on off button. There is cord storage in the back. Before using the Mr. Coffee for the first time, wash the carafe, the lid, the water reservoir, and brew basket with warm soapy water. Run a brew cycle with water only. Fill the reservoir up to the 10 cups. Don't use a filter or any coffee in the brew basket. Press brew. When the cycle is finished, there will be three beeps. Discard the water, rinse the decanter, lid, and filter basket. Now you can brew a cup of coffee. I'm gonna brew six cups of coffee. Remember, each cup is five ounces. Pour in my filtered water. Always pour in a tiny bit more than the cup measure that you want. And a little bit does evaporate. Cover with the lid, slide out the brew basket. I'm using a paper filter. Just make sure it sits against the sides. So you don't want it to collapse during brewing. For my six cups of water, I'm using 36 grams of coffee. That's six heaping tablespoons. This is the amount of coffee I usually use when brewing in any coffee maker. Shake it a little to level the coffee out and slide it back into the unit. The manual says to use four and a half tablespoons for the six cups of coffee, but I find that that's way too little coffee. So I'll just use these six heaping tablespoons. The carafe is on the base and pushed in all the way. Press brew. The brew light will flash during the whole cycle. After you press the button, the Coffee starts brewing in about 20 seconds. There's a brew timer under the clock display and that turns on when brewing starts. The display will show the time in 15 second intervals. It just lets you know how fresh your coffee is and how long it's been sitting on the plate. There is a pause and serve feature so anytime during the brew cycle you can pull the carafe out and pour some coffee into your cup. Put the carafe back in and the brewing cycle will continue. The machine is not loud when brewing, it's on the quieter side. You heard the three beeps, that's when you know when, that the cycle is done. The six cups of coffee took just about four minutes to brew. I want to measure how hot the coffee is and how hot it will be kept in the thermal carafe over a couple of hours. So I'm just going to measure the temperature of the coffee. Put my thermometer in. Push the button, 
and pour out your cup. This is measuring 170 degrees. Add some sugar, a little half and half. I really cannot drink it straight. A little bit more. I can tell that the coffee is rich. It's not light, which is good. It's not weak. Taste it. It's a good cup of coffee. It's really hot and the coffee is not weak. You can experiment with the amount of coffee and the grind. I use a medium roast. It's a medium grind, good for drip coffee makers and six grams of ground coffee per five ounce cup of water. I've tried that ratio in other coffee makers and that works for me. I don't like my coffee too strong or weak. This is somewhere in the middle. The coffee maker will shut off automatically after two hours or you can shut it off by pressing the brew button until all the lights are off. When the machine is off, the fresh brew timer display under the clock will turn off. So that's how you know that the machine is off. The coffee stayed hot for several hours. After one hour, Coffee temperature went down from 170 to 160. After two hours, it went down to 150. And after three hours, it went down to 140. So every hour it went down about 10 degrees. The coffee was still warm and drinkable after three hours. So you don't really need to heat up the coffee after three hours. Also after three hours, the coffee didn't taste burnt. It still tasted very close to the first cup of coffee that we poured. To clean, make sure the machine is cool and unplugged. The filter basket, carafe, and lid should be washed in hot soapy water. The clean function indicator will light up after 90 brew cycles. Run a clean cycle with water and vinegar. It lasts 45 minutes and the indicator light will turn off after the cycle is finished. There are detailed instructions in the manual. The decanter should be cleaned occasionally because there may be white stains from hard water inside. Fill it with equal parts water and vinegar and leave for 20 minutes. Rinse out with water. Overall, this Mr. Coffee 10 cup is a good value for the price. It kept the coffee hot after several hours and the coffee tasted good. The link to the Mr. Coffee is in the description below. I hope you found this review helpful. Please subscribe for more reviews of products you use every day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.